Hello and welcome. Today we will solve uh, MCQ for 2018 starting from 21 to 30 question and with this we will complete our MCQ part for 2018 and I will try to upload all the uh, as soon as possible all the videos related to uh, numerical portions and I am trying to discuss the theory also with you. So without wasting any time, let's start the conference learning. This is the first question related to the bottom uh, means way up structure. If you have seen my lecture uh, long back, uh, I have uploaded on the drive as well as the telegram channel where I have discussed in detail what is the way up structure and how which feature is de defined for the way up structure identification. As uh, it's very simple, if you have aware of all this, you can say there's a mud crack load and flame structure, sharp crest, wave trippers, all these used for the determination of the top and bottom of the beds. However, plain lamination, uh, even a BSc geology student, first year student know what is uh, lamination is and uh, it is related to your layer thickness. So based on this, it is not used to define any type of top and bottom of the structure. So our option is D. Plane lamination. Moving to the next question, this is IUGS classification where you have to identify what type of mineral or what type of mineral is there in this triangle portion, just like olivine, orthopyroxene, and clinopyroxene. If you correlate with the existing IU, IUGS classification, you can easily identify that P is related to Husbergi and Q is related to Verlein. So, in my option, uh, in the option given below, the D is the right option for us. These are some of the classical examples where you have identified uh, minerals names or rock name based on the uh, based on the APF classification or QAP classification related to volcanic rock, related to uh, phenetic rock, related to ultramafic rock. So you, what you have to do day by day, you can go one triangle at a time and you can identify what type of portion, which portion will give you which type of uh, rock. Moving to the next question, this is related to metamorphic rock. This is very uh, straightforward question where we have muscovite and quartz. Yeah, if we, if the reaction between muscovite and quartz would happen, what will be the end result? The end result is limonite plus K feldspar plus H2O. This means uh, K feldspar is your alpha clays. And go and go and uh, remember the nomenclature for other rock also. That's like what we call it K feldspar as alpha clays. Then we have plagioclase feldspar also. So what we what is the alternative name for plagioclase also? So the option is A orthoclase plus similite. And let me uh, tell you about the closed system. What we call a closed system? A closed system is such a system that in which uh, which we do, we does not allow transfer of matter in or, in or out of the system. This simple classification is there, simple definition is there, what we call is a closed system and how it is related here. It's, this means that the no matter is coming inside and out. So whatever is there means mus, uh, the reaction between muscovite plus quad, you have to write the formula for this one and it will convert into selenite and kefirspar with some H2O. So there is no loss of energy, means no loss of matter. So all the matter, whatever we have before in terms of the mole, then it will remain the same after the reaction. So that's why the closed system used here. Moving to the next question, the, uh, the assemblage, sterolite, garnet, biotite, muscovite, precaut in pellites mixture. See, we, you can identify this mineral in other rock also, but here it is specific, uh, specifically ask you the reaction will uh, happen in pellites rock. What, is, what do you mean by pellites rock? Let me tell you, it is related to your clay, uh, clay type of rock that is mud and mud stone. So do remember this one. Okay. Uh, and uh, try to, uh, and try to, try to identify what is pellite rock is there, what is uh, meta basaltic rock is there, what is meta gravic rock is there, because all these rocks have a different uh, green seeds, seeds and different minerals like this one. I will tell you in every every phases, either it is amphibolite, granulite, pyroxene, hornflesh phases. You have uh, three. You have different types of uh, what we call a parent rock. Parent rock. Uh, just like if you go for the metamorphosis of the meta basalts in the, uh, in the green seeds phases, you will have the chlorite, albite, epidite, actinolite, and quartz as a identify mineral if you go into uh, if, if 
if you are in a green seed species and the origin origin means the parent rock is meta grave so what type of mineral you are expecting same thing is for meta pellite what type of minerals you are expecting if you have this type of structure uh, this type of uh, parent rock so we have different types of parent rock for all the phases just like amphibolite phases you have meta meta basa meta basa uh, meta pellites and uh, aside dolo stones same is true for gra uh, granulite phases and other phases also so you have to remember a day means if you are dealing about the meta basite what type of uh, amphibolite phases minerals should be there so in this uh, case um, this assemblage related to the parent rock of pellite it will come into amphibolite phases that is it is there and that i have already that i have collected from the wikipedia it is nothing but you can search in wikipedia also for all these informations moving to the next question conglomerates what is conglomerates let's have a look for the conglomerates conglomerate is a classic sedimentary rock that is composed of a substantial fraction of rounded to sub rounded angular size fragment conglomerates formed by the consolidation and lithification of gravel means gravel lithification will give you conglomerates and uh, conglomerates what is conglomerates it's it's the origin in the matrix is rock it is originate at the zebrae flow or alluvial flow we are not going to the detail of this one too much you know this sand dunes is related to wind deposit tidal flat we have mud flat it is in the wetland area nearby the shoreline and this alluvial flat i mind it to deposit the gravel the energy should be high so whatever energy is high here it is related to alluvial flat and you know what is river flat. this is your uh, area and the river is flowing like this one in this part in this part the river is flowing and this area where where during the flood all this area can occupy or flooded flooded so this zone is known as flood plain and you know that in flood plain you will not find gravels so after the lithification of gravel you will not ever have conglomerates on this river flood plain so our best option is alluvial fan you can check here option is alluvial fan uh, is the correct answer for this one and uh, these are some of the uh, sedimentary run where you can also find conglomerates this is a deep bottom marine shallow uh, shallow marine condition fluvial alluvial and glacial moving to the next question uh, this question will take some of your time uh, to come with the answer why i am telling this to you because you have to mug up or you have to remember the if you have read the ncert book book from 6 to 8 class where they have the or uh, um, or resources of india or the resources of india you will have the idea that where you have find too much iron there uranium magnesium or barite there is also a mineral website uh, indian mineral website you can where they have given you uh, which rock means uh, which area has a uh, which state has the most uh, iron or uh, uranium magnesium like this one so day by day being a bsc first year student you have to give your exam in third year so after th after three year so i will suggest you every day you will go to one state or one mineral and identify which type of uh, that state has what type of uh, rock and associated ore deposit and time to time when you go with this you will have a, a, a ample amount of knowledge to discuss all these um, options so iron iron is basically related to your karnataka so my option is p is equal to 4 uranium is uh, narva pahar jharkhand meghalaya andhra pradesh uh, jadugura uh, tumalpalli mouludi Mo and turamid this is not, uh, uh, and uh, but you can see this uranium you can identify in narva pahar jharkhand uh, this is the best possible option you have so maybe meghalaya is also there then you get confused so you should know the type locality also where they are uh, they are talking about in the option itself that magnes magnes mostly magnes is identified in odisha karnataka madhya pradesh now you have madhya pradesh also here if you have karnataka karnataka is also there but uh, then you have to go to the uh, type locality also where they are talking about magnes so when you go with the umeshwar prasad book also umeshwar prasad they have a very good table where they have they have given you this iron will you will identify iron in majority of these these states in this percentage 
so based on this you can identify that the option is d how come the p is equal to 4 we have p is equal to 4 and the q is equal to uh, 3 aapka q is equal to 3 so i am el eliminating all these option because i found p4 and q3 in only d so this is the elimination taking if you don't know the option for magnesium and barite easily you can identify so this is the method you can identify in exam also and to uh, to solve all these type of question i will request you to go half an hour or one hour every day uh, to identify irons uh, to identify the ore deposit where it occur in our state and more also what you can do after that you can associate what type of rock type is there that's i'm talking about the locality the rock type is there what is the rock type where you have iron in uh, in hospital granite what is the rock there so just correlate the rock also it will help you uh, in future options okay which one of the following process is possible for the formation of the syngenetic nickel copper sulfide or in gabbro uh, no right uh, rock so we have uh, gabbro neurite rock and nickel sulfate we need to discuss this one and the, the process should be syngenetic if you know about the syngenetic what is syngenetic syngenetic is simply at the same time the host rock means the deposit should, should be the same the uh, the, uh, the end result and the uh, the host rock should be deposited in the same time this is known as syngenetic if you know all this process hydrothermal Volcanic exhalation, liquid immiscibility, and cotton metal production. Except liquid immiscibility, all these are related to syngenetic. Also, this is also not related to syngenetic, but uh, uh, it is not also uh, means uh, it's not related to syngenetic. Also, these two uh, hydrothermal replacement and volcanic exhalation is related to epigenetic. And this is not related to syngenetic. What is related to syngenetic is liquid immiscibility. The classical example is the bo in bottle you have water and oil. If you have water and oil, it will not mix at all. That is known as liquid immiscibility. Okay, the classical example is uh, uh, situated in South Africa in, and the Norwegian nickel deposit. Okay, moving to the next uh, option. This is very simple. I have. Uh, I have made a very detailed video related to that one, the slope stability issue. What in that, what I told you, if your slope is something like this one, whatever joint is uh, towards this slope, towards this slope, it is not stable. So whatever is opposite to the slope, it is stable. So my option is B. This is again related to paleontology. For this type of question, I will again suggest you uh, to go in detail because it is not one day job that you can uh, you can solve all these questions this is paleontology and paleontology is related to your biology and biology is a bit tip to remember for me and i am hoping the same thing if you are good in uh, biology in 10 plus 2 or i suppose if you have 10 plus 2 in biology then it's a bit difficult to get in all the it's you have one option related to it rule key okay so and most of the students have 10 plus 2 mathematics so they are lacking with the biology part but i would request you every day just have a good book uh, from paleontology and uh, try to read uh, a chapter or, or one morphology at a time or one species at a time then you will have all the um, what we call it all the uh, option with you and just like water vesicle system is a hydraulic system used by echinoderms what you can do, you can identify all this trilobite, echinoderm, and uh, a cephalophore. What is the characteristics? You can treat it something like a, a human. What human characteristic we have? Okay, <laughs> amphibians. So you can okay. What what is the what is trilobite? What what is the type of uh, the parts of the trilobite? How they uh, where they used to live and how they, uh, what they eat? How they swim? and if they swim or not how they breathe so that you can make a list and then you can read trilobite brachiopite echinodermita sulfur all the minerals is oh sorry all the animals or species which is important for the jam concern you can read one by one uh, starting from bsc first year to till uh, bsc third year if if you are still if you are now in bsc third year and you uh, now you will think okay now what i will do right now so do me a favor try to read more as more as possible give time to give uh, too much time to jam preparation because uh, it will give you uh, 
give your confidence as well as a uh, entry to iits so i will try to suggest you now we have two months left so give more time to uh, uh, to jam exams and if you have any question do let me know we will discuss we will we can sit one by one um, uh, to discuss with your problem what type of problem you are facing and you can just drop a mail to me and everyone know about my mail id this mk confident learning at the rate of gmail.com it is also there on my youtube channel okay so if you go uh, go through all the option here the water circular system it is related to echinoderm so my option is p is equal to 2 then i have trilobite the trilobite is a molting behavior so i have 4 4 q is equal to 4 so just take here the option q is equal to 4 p is equal to 3 so i have c as option okay This is the last question. This is very simple question. This is the table from TRL page 108. Uh, this is the equivalent rock you have to identify. Just like what is the uh, plutonic uh, uh, surface equivalent or volcanic equivalent of granite? Uh, the granite equivalent is rhyolite. So my P is equal to three and gabbro is your basalt. S is equal to two. I am not going to give you the answer. You can easily identify. With this, I am completing the um, uh, this MCQ part for 2018, and I will suggest, I will request you to go and do a study and uh, try to uh, try to solve the question as much as you can. And uh, if you have any problem, anything, uh, maybe anything that you are not able to study and you have some issue remembering everything, I will try my level best to resolve this issue with you one by one. Just drop a mail to me that sir, I am facing this this type problem, and uh, you can follow my Telegram channel, Instagram channel as well. So I am I used to upload uh, upload stuff not related to jam also, uh, other stuff also. That's why uh, I am a field person. i used to do feel a lot so i'm just uploading few videos and few observations and few experience related to feel also so with this thank you and uh, have a good day uh, bye bye